Hey guys, so in this uh, video, uh, we're gonna learn uh, SolidWorks features. So the profile may look uh, complex, but the logic is very simple. Uh, so without wasting much time here, I will explain like how I've done this solid. And from here, we'll jump into the skeleton uh, geometry in SolidWorks part future. Let me open SolidWorks. So here, uh, we're gonna start with a front plane so uh, I'm gonna draw two lines the center line of horizontal and vertical yep and then we'll use a circle uh, two circles and three point arc so this is to constrain uh, our dimensions so I will just make from here and I'm going to shift so that the overall dimensions will come. So I'm going to make here to fix my height of the 3 inch. Similarly, I'm going to make this from this end. Yep. 3 inch. Both sides. Let me make a tangent and this also to be a tangent to this. And let me make a dimension close to point three five something okay let it be a curve okay I'm gonna use this option called extend entities so let it get an extend with that yep and let me remove this which is not required yep I'm gonna make the line now only this and uh, select all select mirror about so i'll be selecting this yep now uh, we're gonna make what is that 0 0.35 something so let me uh, make sure these two are equal yep so as you can see this is the profile of our geometry so from here i'm gonna use future called revolve so I'm gonna select this, it will be it revolved in that. So the initial profile or geometry is ready. Uh, so now I'm gonna use a front plane again uh, to split uh, this option or uh, this uh, shape. So cut geometry, split. So make sure you should not uh, select the consume cut body. Uh, sorry, uh, you should select the consume cuts body so that the body will be remain same here. Oh, sorry, uh, you have to unselect okay if it is get selected the consume body i mean the body will get consumed so i have to make sure it should not be selected so after this two body got splitted where you can see two solids yep so uh, now i'm gonna use move a uh, copy body i'll be selecting this here uh, we have to think like you know which axis we have to rotate so that it's an x-axis which I means that axis which I would like to rotate so I'm gonna use this 180 here sorry uh, 90 so it got rotated over here and I'm gonna use a combine option to select these two bodies to get combined and if you could see here so this is what the profile in the thumbline what you have seen so very uh, simple with a very minimalistic of uh, future which in SolidWorks we're gonna use here uh, the same way uh, I'm gonna teach you now how to create a skeleton so uh, what I will do I'm gonna take an help of uh, this uh, solid to create the skeleton so for that I'm gonna use again uh, going back here to sketch uh, under the sketch we have a 3d sketch option what I will do I will be selecting this sketch I mean this edge this and this I want to do the convert entity so I want a skeleton of this profile completely on that I want to select OK so now I will be hiding this body it's no more required for us at this moment so what I will do uh, I'm going to use the sweep option uh, this is called a circular profile sketch profile so we'll go with the circular profile since we don't have a guide so only thing is like we will be using one uh, path I mean uh, we don't have a profile so we'll be using the path 
so what i will do i will remove and i will go with the selection manager so that what happens is this and this all will be get selected as separate entities okay so uh, this i will be creating oh five a five let it be a plus or be eight. now it is an inch uh, unit so the dimension whatever i'm doing it you can just play with your uh, things like how you want to scale up all these things you can do after making this the dimensions all you can play around so again the sketch may go off like you have to show again back so again go for a sweep go for the circular and select this entity i mean uh, selection manager select this entity and go back and make sure it should be 355 i mean 0.55 i'm gonna select ok now yeah the top and bottom is ready so only thing is now we have to play here with the uh, uh, the profile where the single entity of a radius so uh, again i will go with that and select the circular profile so right click selection manager so i'm gonna select this select okay so this time i'm gonna give 0 0.05 so let it be a little minus of a 0 0.055 that have been reduced to 005 so now i'm gonna select okay but this time i will be removing the image result i don't want to merge here and here uh, since i have a reason for that so i will be removing that yep so now we have an access from this uh, previous model uh, what i will do i will just enable that access the center access i will use the circular uh, pattern yeah so i'm going to select here now uh, the axis which i want to rotate so this time uh, it was in the other way uh, so i will be going to flip here yep so make sure uh, you should have whatever the numbers you are expecting so 60 or 50 something like that the space which you are looking for just zoom here and then see like it got get merged so i just want a very minimal number so 25 should be sufficient just think like you know how you can make yeah 15 or 18 also fine yep now i want to select okay but not this time it's a future i'm going to remove this i will be selecting the body uh, which i want to do this so a uh, future may not come body because it's a separate solid body so we have to go with that perfect so you can play like this and then now what i'm going to do here is i'm going to combine uh, control a will help you to select all the bodies and then i'm going to select ok so now uh, you can disable this uh, temporary uh, axis so my uh, half i mean the quarter portion is ready now uh, i'm gonna use uh, uh planes to remove i mean like to play uh, a mirror so this is my body which i want to mirror to the down towards down so i have done that yeah perfect so uh again uh i'm gonna select the friend plane which is close to this profile so this time what i will do i will be selecting again uh the body to mirror this time this two body cell will be get selected i'm going to select this okay perfect so uh, the one day tricky again uh, move body uh, so i will be selecting these two bodies so the my center axis will come down i mean the rotating axis so uh, again z i uh, will be selecting a 90 degree to match with the top profile perfect yes so now uh, combine selecting all again control a the four body will get selected okay so this is what uh, i just want to show you uh, it may look complex but when you try with the uh, futures like uh, you know solidworks in a very minimalistic futures can be achieved a complex profile so the way it looks complex but the logic is very simple i hope uh, you guys have liked this video uh, but a small request please please do subscribe uh, so that will motivate me to do a lot of stuff and then i'll also uh, put at end screen like a lot of stuffs in my channel you can just have a look on that playlist more stuffs interesting uh, designs uh, please please do subscribe like and give your feedback in the bottom uh, so let me see like how i'm doing it yeah thank you uh, see you in the other next video until then bye from shape it